The other thing that Facebook was in news for, this is actually funny. To me, I mean, it's sad, but it's funny to me. You. Uh, to me in particular, and you'll mm. find out why. So they did like apparently <coughs> Facebook, and you know how they say that they, the algorithm recommends extremist crazy shit? It was super pronounced in India <laughs> where this guy was saying who worked for, he, he made an account and he just wanted to monitor where the algorithm is going to take him if he doesn't do anything on it. So he just went on Facebook around 2019 in India and he liked the recommended pages that Facebook was asking him to, blah, blah, blah. And then he just let it sit there. And he was like, dude, within like a week, you I would start getting pictures of some dead kid and it'd be like, do you know who killed this man? Pakistan killed this guy. <laughs> hey, that's just the news, Ali. All right? That's just, that's the, just news. the news. <laughs> well, that is just the news in India. But they're saying that they didn't care about anything. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 15% or 20% of Facebook's clients are in US and about 80 to 90% of the funding to uh, block any of those kind of materials also stays in the US. So basically, if you're a Facebook user in India, they're just... The algorithm is just showing you crazy fucked up shit, which is mostly about why Pakis and Muslims are bad. Why does it work <laughs> like that? so unsurprising. But why? Well, that. so the, the documents, the whistleblower documents sort of show that I mean, there they've are been talking about that there's bugs in Facebook yeah, where like there are problems, it's sort yeah. of designed to look for crazy. I, I get that. And I think that that... that but isn't that a thing that like um, <laughs> Facebook should work out, not, not the government should fucking mandate? Yeah, and also... Like that is Indian news, as that is a, it's not crazy in India. That is, th- there's there there's uh, uh, some merit to Fox that. News. Yeah. Oh right, 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 right. We right. have a special panel, but yeah. uh, uh, instead of O'Reilly talking to three people, we have thirty people on the panel. <laughs> India is going a very crazy small enough. amount of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Intimate panel. <laughs> India's <laughs> social social scene is fucked right now. I always don't want to say this what because do you mean people assume scene? that I'm saying this. well. Basically, the social climate in India is insane these days. And I don't oh, like... Oh, like polarized, you mean? Yeah, super polarized. More than America? Way more no than America. Way. Dude, recently... No way. There's just been jailing people, right? They jail... And this is a true story. Right. They sent to jail... Again, look, if you're an Indian, I... Let's preface this by saying Pakistan's no Mecca either. It is. It's definitely <laughs> no Mecca. It I don't think defi- Pakistan's also, like the height I always, of like... I always life. joke about like, yeah, fuck Indians, but like I... I, that's just a joke, and uh, I actually don't mind you guys. comedy podcast. But <laughs> they jailed up, an, a cricketer, <laughs> a really famous cricketer, for doing this. So he was talking to one of his friends on Instagram live, and this other friend of his was also a team member. And whilst talking, he mentions a word, which is bungy, which, which basically it originates from... It's it's the it's the cost that would usually do cleaning, so it became a derogatory term over the years. That's interesting because the first thing that I thought when you said bungy is it means anus, <laughs> and not too far off in Indian lingo, right? <laughs> really? Maybe. Yeah, it sounds like it. But sounds, he, don't you reckon bungy sounds like that's going to be their word for? Yeah, butthole. I guess so. Yeah, or a firework. <laughs> Yeah, banger. yeah, banger, banger. banger. It's close yeah, enough. Uh, We're not so different after all. Right? <laughs> the, the the word the word for ass is bund, yeah. which is close to bund. Bund, bund. That's a pretty good word I for ass. I don't word. mind that. Bund. But anyway, so like they'd have a good word for ass, wouldn't they? <laughs> it's not bad. Wait, who? India. Like they'd, yeah. they'd, they'd know what's up when it's down there. So this guy casually <laughs> said bungie in like because over the years people have kind of forgotten where the word actually came from. It's just used as like a. It's like um, I don't know, wanker Derog- or something, yeah, wanker, yeah. right? Right. So he he tells his friend, he's like, uh, "Fuck off, Bungie," and that was fine. He 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 went to jail for it. Wait, what does it mean? They said that you're creating enmity between castes. Whoa, what does it mean though? Actually, Whoa. what's it? Well, it's it's actually a caste of people who oh. traditionally used to like and, clean, to and still do. So they'll sell people to jail for using that word, but Whoa. they won't. Hell, Bungie's not clean toilets because they're still doing that. Holy shit. So really... That's crazy. It's insane. That's not even the big... Dude, they... uh, One of the uh, leading actors who's Muslim in India, Bollywood actors, his son is in jail because his friend had hash on him. And like most of the media accounts are saying that that's basically because he's Muslim. Right. And they're trying to like tell big uh, name and like these famous... 
uh, Muslims in India that, you know, stay in your place. That's not right, all of India, right, obviously. Right. It's like the, the, the government. And I'm not trying to hate on India. I always feel bad talking about India because it comes from my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> is, but I don't know. Just Google it. There was actually an article about this in Guardian Today where they made an ad where for Diwali, which is their festival. Yeah. But they used a, uh, a sort of uh, Persian-influenced word mm. to describe it. And uh, they had to pull off the ad because they're like, Hindus and Muslims are different. This is very offensive. Look, I'm going to so say... So actually in India, political correctness has gone mad. And so is that what is that what their... I can't remember what their Fox News is. Is that what they're constantly talking about? Yeah, well, I- except the other thing in India is that they don't have one Fox News. Most of their media is Fox News. But is it Fox News or is it MSNBC and Fox News? No, there's one All MSNBC... Fox that just gets a thrashing from all the 90% Fox News. Okay. Hey. In ratings or? In ratings uh, by the anchors that constantly talk about how the anchors from the other network are losers. Mm. And uh, th- this this other network, so does that support the party that's out of power at the moment? Yeah. And it's that's called, all they've the, got. the network is NDTV, which is I think the last remaining uh, supposed left uh, media outlet. Who right. runs it? Uh, this ex journalist. That's the other thing that's happened in India. The reason why most of their media is right wing, and actually the same applies for Pakistan too. This this is pretty even. So back in the day, at least I don't know how it was here, but back in the day in India and Pakistan, these networks were usually they were started by people that were journalists. They would yeah. write n- newspapers and shit. Yeah. And so all these networks that were started by ex-journalists are actually kind of decent. But then, like, around the 90s and 2000s, all these corporate houses got into it. Mm. And they're like, what the fuck are we doing with this? Make it all right-wing. So now, if your media house is owned by a corporate, it's most likely to be really right-wing. And if it's owned by some ex-journalist, then it's probably going to be centrist or left-wing. Okay. Mm. So uh, the, the corporations... Are they doing it? Do you think that they're doing it because they're trying to buy into a market that already exists, or is it because they're just pushing pro business interests? Both. So they realize that what sells is the right wing, uh, crazy shitting on Muslims, and uh, uh, and also that way they can propagate their like laissez faire. Uh, so, market. so the other ones that are owned by the journalists. They don't push that. Yeah, they don't. They're very careful. And, like, look, no one likes Pakistan. That's fine. If you've got, like, a war and <laughs> shit fine. going on, Poor I fuck. understand it. <laughs> but then, like, dude, in, it's, I'm, I'm not talking about, like, bias. I'm talking about crazy stuff where they'll be, like, you know, when Afghanistan was taken over by the Taliban, India's pitch was that, oh, it's all, it's not actually Afghani Taliban. It's actually the Pakistan military that's helping Taliban. So they would do weird stories that were completely false. Like they showed, okay, we've got exclusive footage from Panjshir where we have spotted Pakistani ISI men. And look at this video. The planes are being shot at. And you look at the video and someone like, it's actually a video game that they just play. (laughs) Pepsi man. Yeah. (laughs) Pepsi. Look at him jump. Look how strong they are. They're clearly on steroids. And they have NASA technology too, the Pakistani military. Look at him go. Yeah, and, and they and seem to be powered exclusively by some Pepsi. dark liquid. We're not sure what it is. It might be Pepsi. <laughs> here's, yes. here's another one. You hear that? You hear that? Clear Pakistani language. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's another one. This also happened. So their <laughs> version of game. like Andrew Bolt. It was Scarface. They played Scarface. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on. Their, their version of like, uh, uh, I don't know, Alan Jones or someone. Their most extreme. It's, and he's on a television network called Republic TV. Yes. <laughs> he's nice. he's what there. a name. Republic he's sitting TV. there and he always gets like some token packy dude. So he can, he never lets them speak. He's like, explain why you are so miserable. Explain. Explain. Dude, Bill O'Reilly. Yeah. It's it's Bill O'Reilly. Bill I'll let O'Reilly. you have the final thoughts. But again, he's but he just doesn't. so much more extreme yeah, so than Bill more. O'Reilly. Right. You know, like, like, you know how Bill O'Reilly every now and then he's kind of just like, I just want to go play poker with the guys. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you talk for a bit, Bernie. Yeah, you're a crazy kid. 
All right, coming up next, we're talking about McDonald's. Like that, that's <laughs> usually what happens there. That never, in every clip I've ever seen of that guy, yeah, the, the standard for that man is that. Just like really? straight down the camera, yelling the whole time. Does exactly that. No words. Nothing. That sounds it's, entertaining. It's, it's, I want to watch that. It's not. It's That's the whole thing. Do you find it entertaining? Well, because okay, I'm really just like, just... Like give him something so he can bounce, you know. <laughs> right, 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 no, right, it's right. actually entertaining to me. So he, so this, this happened, right? This is also a recent thing during the whole Afghanistan <laughs> debacle. So the the Republic TV guy, he's sitting there, he's like, "Okay, okay, Mr. Pakistani, now I have got news, and do not doubt my sources. <laughs> on the fifth floor, Pre- preempting that. Don't <laughs> doubt. I on the fifth <laughs> floor of Serena Hotel in Kabul has been completely booked by Pakistan military and ISI." If you want me to tell you what they ordered from room service, I can also tell you that. So do not doubt my sources. <laughs> that five minutes later, the same guy is like, hey, hold on a minute, I've just got some news. Apparently there's only two floors at Serena Hotel in Kabul. <laughs> I love that. I love that it's just outright no place in reality. Uh, did he do this? Because he says this every, uh, every video that I've ever seen of his is... Let me try and replace it with that, but he'll just do this. How dare you doubt my sources? But I, how dare you doubt my sources? But I, how dare you doubt my sources? Okay, we're out of time. He just what keeps yelling the same sentence. Huh? It's so entertaining. Yeah, and dude, he, he, yeah look, it I've is, changed it's, 180. It's, it's, it's entertaining. Great. This, this was amazing. even more entertaining. So it's incredible. Basically, because he's so insane, doesn't let anyone speak. The Congress party, which is like the, the left wing, the one that's out of power, he always used to get one of their people on and he would just like, shit on them and not let them speak so they boycotted his show they're like we're not gonna go on his show and there's usually like 10 people on the screen right he would keep an empty chair like that is the congress rep and he would just look at that empty chair and still hurl abuses at it (laughs) this guy's a pioneer (laughs) this guy and he's a rating monster too yeah he's a rating monster what's his name think about it don't you reckon the taliban would look at him and be like what a fucking extremist (laughs) that guy he does really take towing the party line to a new level. Dude, and what's fact, his name? Do you remember? In, I, I, do you remember this? Remember you telling me? I want his name. Yeah. Okay. His look, name's Arnab Goswami. Mean, here's another funny one of just his. Just put it in for so, me yeah, so I can I'll watch it later. So he he actually gets one of the Taliban representatives on, right? And he's talking to the Taliban representatives. This was a sick burn by the Taliban guy. He's like, uh, when all of those people were, t- I'll, I'll put it in. What's yeah. it? All of those people that were trying to like escape Afghanistan when they were falling off the planes, he was saying, now explain to me, if you say your country is so good, why are hundreds of thousands of people wanting to leave the country? Explain to me. And the Taliban guy just says like, if they put planes on your tarmac and say that everyone on that plane will go to Western countries, you believe me, thousands of people even in your country will line up. Fair, kind of a fair and call. That was a fair call. Actually, that is a pretty good... What was his response that to that? Did he have no response for the no, first that, time that was, in his life? Yeah, yeah, he didn't He had nothing. Wow. Well, well, no, nah, as if he just wouldn't be like, the I think that that is incorrect. Let's say it. <laughs> okay, that's him. His name's Arnab Goswami. Damn, isn't that the guy that just got... <laughs> Isn't that yeah, a guy? Isn't it, that real it. Rook Sean? <laughs> Fuck. The real Rook Sean. No, he's just brown. <laughs> you guys have to. He, and he does this show in English, so you can actually. It's oh, hilarious. Well, I know what I'm falling asleep to. Alan, uh, sorry, Alex Jones has been too extreme for me of late. This might be a good uh, bridge. Indian news you anchor. Know? Might yeah, be a big bridging, bridging. For he's me. actually really funny. I highly recommend everyone. What, to check what happens him out. when he gets somebody in from? Um, What's his party that he likes again? The Republic Party? Is that what No, no, uh, the BJP. BJP. Yeah. What happens when someone's <laughs> on that he's interviewing for them? Yeah, he just keeps like, you, sir, are good. No, no, great. <laughs> very, very great. That's the entire show. <laughs> so there's no finesse to it at all. You no, are the great. questions are different. It's like, you the, the questions would be like, oh, oh, so you, when he's talking to like the president, who he loves, obviously, it's like, you have not taken a break in six years in working in office. Mm-hmm. How, how do you do that? <laughs> Those are the questions. Right. It's like, okay. the, it's like the Gladys thing, right? Sort of, you know what I mean? Like to a new level. To a new right? level. Yeah, 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 to yeah, a yeah. new level. Well, yes. what's, is, there, is there a Hannity on that network? <laughs> Someone yeah, that's just <laughs> not as talented and <laughs> verbose. Yeah, there's several people Hannity. like that. Because there's a million news outlets too. Yeah. So there's yeah. there's Hannity's, there's Jones. This guy is just the, f- to me, the funniest individual oh, out there. He's, well, 
The fact that he is known in Western countries, mm. yeah. that says a lot. So what's the, what's the media like in Pakistan, though? Because Pakistan... Oh, uh, to be fair, also pretty crazy. Like, is the, like, what's I don't the, know, like, when I was watching it, and I could be wrong about this because I didn't watch that much Pakistani news, but every time I flicked it on, it was always this. Something like, oh, my God, Look at this guy getting beat up in this street. Okay, let's just zoom in on that. And then they have some really annoying graphic of a circle I hate or something. The graphics. Like, why, why, do, why? I have to say this. Why is it that like every oh. Middle Eastern country, when there's like a, a news thing, <laughs> it's just like indescript, like lime green Arabic outlines. When so it's like I can't. I can barely see the presenter. Aspect. Yes. Why are you just cramming more like? 1986 graphics. It's like, I guess they're trying to make it look like CNN, yeah, yeah, right? They are. But, they, work, but yeah. this is the whole thing. In some ways, it's much worse than CNN. But in other ways, it's much more impressive because it's kind of like, is this news or an mm. anime? So what it's happens? Just so, so many effects. So what happens when it's just like, he's getting punched. Now, now our, our, our resident, like, you know, cameraman, as we usually do, we've dressed him up as Superman and he's going to save the assailant. Yes, he saved him. He saved him. Is that what happens? No. No. It just keeps zooming in with stupid graphics, getting different angles of exactly the same footage with the same little zoom in. And then, because I can't speak Urdu, but it's just them being like... And then it just stops. I apologise for the racial stereotype. No, he's, he's <laughs> I don't know what he was that. saying. No, oh my good. God, the gunman is down. But like, then... He's then, right about that. It's go horrible. On, it's it's weird. Like, it's so no, I hard yeah. to listen I'm to. Kidding, and kidding. then it just cuts to an ad, and then the ad will always just be, I don't know, the, the most famous man in Bollywood <laughs> just being like, did you know Chicken McNuggets at Edmund McDonald's? <laughs> It goes back. It's just. <laughs> Wait, you, you haven't answered. Fair call, fair you, call. But you haven't answered my question at all. Like, who, who's the? <laughs> oh my god! Can you just read the message I just got from Gus live? It's too good. Put on channel thirty three food channel documentary on Korean food. And then, and this is the real source. There is four dinner plates. With tiny forks and knives <laughs> to indicate that it's about food. Gus, I'm guessing. I appreciate it. I am live right now. Obviously, you are not watching, but I do appreciate yeah, He's watching Korean that. food documentary. I appreciate that a lot. I love that man. Um, My point being Chinese and Japanese news. What's on captions. channel 33 now? <laughs> right now. He's a better man than me. Better man than all of us. Let's be real. He's living in the moment. You know what um, else is great? It doesn't say that the Korean food is good. <laughs> just says, put it on now. There's a Korean food documentary that's on. He's a very specific TV guy. It's so specific. <laughs> what about the food? Assumes I love Korean food more than anything else, which I don't particularly. <laughs> right now, four emojis to make it clear that it's about food. <laughs> Anyway, Can you explain who Gus is for the audience? He's my mum's partner. He's a legend. He is a legend. He's this a just the way to say it. It's just like Bob Hawke faked his death <laughs> and now he's a tradie in the Northern Beaches. Exactly. Can I ask you a question? Not the Northern Beaches, but close, yes. If you're like in that situation, is he your stepdad or no? You know, more technically he's not, but more or less. Yeah, he might as well be. Like, I would happily so make you have a de facto ha dad. Yeah, I'd happily... Dude, believe me. <laughs> Happy to give him that title. Oh, but sorry, it's having just, Bob Hawke as his stepdad isn't a bad deal. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. But also, he's been watching a lot of Sky since his fake death, and so now still pretty awesome. <laughs> no, this makes him better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, oh, so it, it's a marriage thing. So if they're married, then he's your stepdad. Technically, without marriage, then he's, he's it's your implied. Mom's partner. Yes, but it's implied. It, it's kind of it's kind of cool because if they're not married. It's up to the, the kid to decide if they like they want it or not. You know, it's like an endearing thing, or just be like, "Fuck you," you know. Oh, okay. Why you had a stepdad, no, didn't curious. you? <laughs> yeah, I did have a stepdad. That's awesome. Dead big stepdad. Uh, well, you know, he was. Did he ever dead. spank you? No, but he was just. He was. Isn't a, that you weird when like a, st a step parent Actually, is just like this. that? Shit, go to your room. What? Yeah. This is my yeah, house. Yeah, I know, I know. It was a weird... It was a, and you know what? I'll just say this. It was a weird time. If you want to see how he damaged my family, 
Tune in to the app late. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I'll just, that, that'll be a You're prelude. Dish the dirt I'll dish the dirt. No, I'll dish the dirt. You're going Can down, you Bill. No, no, I, I can't talk about it here. How long ago was this? Oh, they were married for like 10 years or something, I think. Is he still in the picture? No. Okay. Tune right. in to the up late. But we are getting derailed here. I want to know what government is in Pakistan. Is, it, is the Taliban in or not? Stop, stop fucking... Stop, skirting st- the issues. Stop skirting the issues. Secretly, they And are. secondly, what... How does the media reflect their government? Because I'm just, I'm genuinely curious. Yeah, the- no, it's actually similar. The difference, so India and Pakistani media is essentially the same, mostly right wing. But right. what I was trying to point out is that the social climate in India is just insane these days. No, so no, there's I no country that matches no, it. I get- but generally speaking, Pakistan is very similar to India. Right, right. It's got most of the television networks are right wing. They also rely on fake news. Uh, I mean, I thought the deal was in Pakistan. Much. You could say whatever you wanted on air, as long as you didn't make fun Muhammad. of the military. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you make fun of Muhammad? Yeah. No, you can't. <laughs> All right. Two things. Look at the things. reaction. That was a genuine laugh. You know, it's just like, no, <laughs> yeah. my friend. If you're talking about a person named Muhammad, oh right, maybe. Yeah. So that's maybe. 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 It's getting pretty close to sacrilege. But you've got to refer to anyway. <laughs> Um, you have to. Yeah. Not a shit on is, it, is it true that like the Eng- you know how the English split up India and Pakistan? It, could you say? Could you? Could you? Could, like, is it fair to say that like India do? Uh, sorry, uh, it, the English have a big played a big hand in the divide in, in the fucking hate, the divisiveness, drawing the lines and creating that divide or not? You know, recently. No, come on. As if Muhammad didn't have something to do with that. I don't know. I mean, yeah, well, that's the point. But, you know, th- there's actually some credibility. I recently read a book. It's called uh, The Garrison State, which argues, and it makes it makes a really good point, that the British actually wanted India to be divided yeah, yeah, because... Because yeah. instability, they were, instability. No, right? not instability. They were afraid of India siding with the Soviet Union. So oh, they were Jesus. like, this is going to be right. insane. And uh, because the leader of India, the independence leader, Nehru, he was pretty socialist so they had an incentive to actually create a new state that they could just use as what this author calls the 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 garrison state so that in case india goes rogue they've got some presence over there it's just that 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 region and the history is so it's so intense i mean i suppose so many of those bought those those like on on the sort of like anyone that shares a coat like a border with any any nation there's sort of like contentiousness but like um india like really does seem like the wild west i mean the whole i don't know it's a it's a perfectly fine country but it's just the political climate is is let's just say i'm not i'm not saying it's 30s germany i'm saying it's 20s germany (laughs) and ah so yeah that explained the insanity and pakistan's similar but like look i'm gonna say it it's a wild world. You can take that to the bank. Whoops. You can take that to the bank. I didn't say that in the microphone the properly. Is, the difference is Pakistan <laughs> The difference is Pakistan has learned its lessons because they <laughs> fucked up the same, the same way. So, you know, so in, basically what's happening is in Indian politics, the right-wing government it's has cyclical. realized It's cyclical, right? It's not even cyclical. They've realized that to keep your support and to gain even more support and keep winning elections, you've just got to utilize the sort of religious conservative faction and you've got to keep your society polarized because there'll be a constant threat of the enemy yeah pakistan did that shit in the 80s <laughs> and then the result was 9 11 and stuff so they stopped doing it. dang <laughs> <laughs> but but uh they weren't pakistanis in 9 11 no they weren't but they look, it's a complicated they yeah it, it, um oh shit uh well yeah it's too dense a thing so so but, but okay but the government in pakistan now is what a religious conservative centrist centrist center right center right but like so who's the, like, but not, it's not like it's an not an ex like, cricket player is the prime minister oh sick so it's not like it's not like ultra uh, hard out no no it's not it's not ultra conservative or anything right, it's right. basically a moderate like um, it's not it's not a Afghanistan what would you like it no, no. what right. would you liken it to in Australia's parties Dick Smith. wait <laughs> I'm kidding the coalition maybe Huh? The coalition. Really? Imran Khan's party is the coalition. Yeah, but with more but he so the basically the coalition except he is really serious about climate change. 
the and hell? that's it. Are you so, uh, really? Well, uh, so really, it's the Democrats yeah. in the US. Uh, he's new. He's he's just he, he's he's not a traditional politician, so he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> Okay. Interesting. Right. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's no, he cool. is. And, and on that note, while we're talking about it, let's just let me point this out. It was a cricket match between India and Pakistan. And, and Pakistan, Pakistan won. won. Pakistan won. <laughs> and, and, and I heard too that it was like... Yeah, fireworks. Dude, the no, 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 no. Videos no, that no, were but sent like to even, me from... But from even Wonder India. Land. Even India was sort of like, we were rightfully... Defeated. Yeah, yeah, because dude, they are really cocky. They they always well, India have a like, great team. I, I I was like, yeah, well, not so great. They couldn't even get yeah. one of our guys out, let alone ten. You guys did very well. Um, but yeah, they they, they would call, they would very casually say, I don't even know why you play with us. You should just <laughs> give us a walkover. <laughs> it's arrogant. Uh, sometimes you need but, a reality hit, yeah, well, dude. You you. <laughs> I'm sure that there were a lot of fireworks does, does, in Pakistan there, that night. Is there sort of is the average fan in Pakistan? You know, when we saw the flag raising ceremony. Mm. <laughs> quick, quick! Hey, did we say something wrong? I've got several messages. I'm going to make sure. No, I don't think so. All right, uh, let's Gus, just take a quick break. Gus did steal. No, is no, it no, a no, Gus thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gus is I'll, I'll give Gus. Is a Miss Love watching the Korean show or not? Go. I'll do a live one for Gus. We're a bit busy. Fuck my stupid phone. Oh no, it's just Sandy. She was looking for you, Jordan. <laughs> this is from like an hour ago. Now, what does Sandy want? No, Sandy was like, she wanted to be like, "Hey, I was caught, Dallas." Oh, also, uh, some um, uh, someone messaged me saying, "Stop saying Pakistan, or you'll kill Marlini." I don't know what that means. Who's I think it's like, like a drinking game. Who knows? If the more I say the P word, the more she has to pip, 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 pip. Oh, Maybe right, that's okay. Yeah, let's kill her. <laughs> let's, I want to keep talking about let's, it. Uh, I'll have yeah. a pack of pack uh, of stand. Pack a pack of booba stand is endlessly fascinating to me. How's it going to make I one like job? <laughs> is it going to... That's a big question over there. How are they going to make Chucky. one job? What, what, was his, what, was his, what was his thing? <laughs> what was it again? What was his catchphrase? That. No, 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 no. He had a better one. Ah, oh. uh, it, dick. That right there is why it I love that America. Amazing. I just it was love just, America. I, I just, like, it's just hard for me not to love America when that happens. When that's it's set, just, you know? don't it's you really think hard. that that is the sign of a country that is well and truly past declining? But you know, it's it's really in. But in I have my a, but I, have, I have a rebuttal to that. I don't know yeah. if I want to live in a world where that. Necessarily projects decline. Can't that be a can't that be a pros prosperous country where everything's going right? And that guy saying that, nah, I don't think it is. I can dream. I, you, you can dream. Yeah, but that's it, the you only think place where that exists. Good yeah, things yeah, yeah. come in pairs. <laughs> You're saying that that is actively representative of the decline in society. I just look. You are never going to have. A Herman Cain <laughs> saying, in this is a shucky ducky <laughs> day for a shucky ducky candidate, ladies and gentlemen, Justin Trudeau. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. But, it's but, not, but, like but, a, but, a, yeah. a sensible, normal country like Canada is not producing that. Do you he's not getting anywhere near the levers of power. Nowhere close. He, he's going to be a homeless man. <laughs> going to be a homeless man. And he's going to have access to your shelter. And he'll probably get some kind of, um, you know, like yeah. mental health package or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. But okay, he's but, not winning, uh, you know, like uh, New Orleans. Give me, give, me this, give me this olive branch. It, 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 it might only happen in America because of their, you know, bald eagle, libertarian, anti-government loving ways if it's going to happen anywhere and not, if it's going to not be shocking anywhere it's going to not be shocking in the states on account of you know small government let whoever the hey, fuck I mean, wants I mean, to I mean, run run uh, look the, you, you can look at it maybe that way as whoever wants to run can run. run but i would say in retort how much less insane is that than in pakistan Having a hype midget <laughs> that gets on stage is like, ladies and gentlemen, the next prime minister of Pakistan. It's not that far off. It's not. It's not. It's not. You're right. You're the right. only difference really is height. <laughs> but it's so weird. It's like, and and it's even more insane because the midget is running for president. <laughs> <laughs>